This is Hello Glass with another Glass Hardest interview. What is your name and are you a glass blower? My name is Ben Burton and I am a glass blower. How long have you been blowing glass and you consider yourself a master? Um, I started blowing glass in January of 1999, uh, so about 13 years now. Um, as far as being a master, I don't think I'm a master. I feel like I'm good at what I do, but I still learn so much. Uh, I've learned so much recently that, it, it, I mean, I've gone through learning curves, broken shit, and, excuse my language, and um, definitely not a master, but, but great answer. fortunate to be working with a lot of masters in our industry, I would say. Your favorite style or type of glass to create with? Um, I really like Boro. Soft glass is cool. Um, I really like Boro work. Uh, I like the pipe movement, I like all the functional stuff. Um, I did artwork for about 10 years before I really focused on pipe making and I tried to bring a lot of that over into my work and uh, I just really like stuff with bright colors and lots of movement and motion in the pieces and things like that. What state do you call home for your glass shop? Um, I just stopped uh, an 18 month road trip that was 38,000 miles driving around the country uh, blowing glass with a lot of different people looking for a new place to live um, since I lived in Hawaii for about 12 years and didn't know where to go after that. So I posted up in Denver. I've just found myself a great place to live. I work in the Shack Mansion with a group of eight other very, very talented and motivated glass artists and uh, Colorado is just an amazing place to live. You own or work under a glass brand or an art name? Um, I go by the name Bertoni as far as uh, our functional industry is involved and uh, just before that my glass was always sold under Ben Burton glass. That was about as original as I could get at the time. Do you, do you make your living solely off glass blowing? I do. I, uh, I, I am a professional glass artist. Uh, I probably work anywhere from 50 to 80 hours a week in the glass shop, you know, and uh, it's, it's a fun job. I get to go in and hang out with my friends. So putting in 80 hours a week at work isn't necessarily a bad thing. If you could blow glass with anyone living, who would that be? Damn, that's a hard question. Um, there are so many talented artists all over this country and even beyond, like worldwide, that I would love to work with. Um, I've been so fortunate recently that I've gotten to collabo and work with 30 or 40 or 50 artists even in the past year and a half on the road trip that I did and um, man I, I, I want to work with everybody <laughs> you know anybody that's doing something big and making things you know pushing the limit and, and making movements like I, I want to work with those people. Awesome. What style or technique in glass is hardest for you? Um, Honestly, the scientific stuff is, is boggles my mind, looking at the seals and how some of these things are done, and there's a seal on the inside and then a seal on the outside, and I didn't know any of that was possible until I was like, oh, wow, there's like, that's, there's like three seals together, and they made this cool walrus, and now like, this thing bubbles like I've never imagined. It's really the scientific stuff that, uh, that, that's much beyond my limit. Name two people that taught or influenced your glass skills. Um, I have to give a big shout out to Eric Anderson uh, out in Hawaii. Um, he was the most talented, best glass artist that was out there when I was learning um, back you know, 12, 13 years ago. And uh, he's, he's still out in Hawaii, he still makes a lot of awesome, awesome work. Um, and and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to have known him and, and to have had his influence uh, along my way. Um, the other artists that have really influenced me are Carver B um, and his electroforming, Darby and all of his work. It's, it's beautiful, it's clean, he covers every aspect of, of anything. Like, uh, and, and definitely those guys have, have tremendously influenced me in the way I work. Is there any style or technique in glass that you would or will learn in the future? I, I want to learn everything. I want to learn the scientific stuff I don't know. I want to do more color stuff, I want to work bigger pieces, I, I, I feel like I have a long way to go to get to, you know, to everything that I want to know. Name two glass artists that impress you. Joe Peters, if you've ever seen his work, it is amazing, his aquatic art and, and human form, I mean, this guy can do anything. Joe Peters, he's a Boro guy, check him out, and um, 
man, I don't know, Darby, Banjo, Buck, like, the answer. list goes on. Great <laughs> the answer. list goes on. What style or technique in the glass amazed you when you first saw it? Um, inside out. Triple blown inside out. It was pretty much the coolest shit when I started blowing glass, and that's what I wanted to do. Uh, I didn't make a lot of pipes when I started. I've, I've made pipes the entire time I've blown glass, but it was always a very small portion of what I did and never went beyond spoons and Sherlock's and stuff. And uh, seeing that kind of thing really just like, I want to blow glass, like this is what I want to do. And that's kind of how I fell into it. Worst injury you ever got making glass art? Um, I burnt myself pretty bad a couple times, but uh, I'd say the worst injury, uh, I had a rod snap in my hand and almost cut my thumb off and uh, cut my fingers pretty bad. I got stitched up and, uh, and then hit the road and started my road trip actually that day, which was July 1st, 2010. Nice. What do you wish to accomplish in the glass industry? Um, I, I'm, that's, that's, I have no idea how to answer that question. I, I want to just be able to continue doing this. Um, I, I feel like all of us that are involved in this industry uh, are, are blessed and fortunate that we found something we can do anywhere we want. Uh, we can be our own bosses. Um, you can work anywhere. You get to choose the people you work with, which isn't really like that in any other job. Uh, if you don't like these people, you can move on to the next place and you can work by yourself or you can come over here. And, and I, I just, I think what we have, we just, not everybody sees it yet. We have so much room to grow and to move forward and to do bigger, better things that, that that's, what, that's what I think is going to happen soon in the future. Great answer. Yeah. How does a glass fan get a hold of your work? Um, you can email me. My email is bertoni.glass at gmail.com. Spell Bertoni. B-U-R-T-O-N-I dot glass at gmail.com. Facebook? I'm also on the Facebook. You can look me up. Type in Bertoni. Type in Ben Burton. Type in weird guy with cool hair. I'll show up on your pictures. Glasspipes.org? Glasspipes.org. I am Bertoni on there as well, and I am uh, Ben Burton on glassartist.org. You've got three minutes to tell the world whatever you want. Go for it. Um, I think I've kind of covered everything. Uh, I, I, I love being a glass blower. I love hanging out with my friends all day, calling at work, um, doing fun stuff, cracking jokes. I watch TV when I work, we listen to music, we do the Soul Train line at work, and we dance around, you swear, you know, and it's just, it's, it's really the best job I could ask for. I, if I wasn't doing this, I would like to, you know, I think I'd probably be designing Lego toys or something like that. Like, gotta have that creative outlet, gotta be able to do stuff, and that's just, that's what makes me happy, and, and I'm blessed to be surrounded by such good people in our industry and, and, uh, and, and thank you all for supporting me and helping me get to where I am. This was Hello Glass with another Real Glass Artist interview. Thank you so much. Woo!